Magic families, it's me, Superintendent Eric Olson, here to put a bow on the 21-22 school year. For 17 years, I have been proud to be an employee of this great school district. But I think as I stand here today, I can look back and call this my proudest moment yet. The last two and a half years have presented numerous, unprecedented challenges in education driven largely by a global pandemic. Our educators, our students, and our families had to relearn education in a completely new format when so many things we take for granted, such as traditional in-person education, were taken from us for long stretches of time. We lost the chance to be together, the chance to build relationships, and the chance to build community. As we all worked our way back toward those opportunities, I got to witness our students, our educators, and our families grinding through obstacles together, like illnesses, substitute shortages, and students basically relearning how to do in-person school. The way that our families and our educators responded to those challenges together, followed by the way our community took advantage of the opportunity to start coming back together this school year, is what has me feeling as proud as I've ever felt in this great school community. From watching our fans pack the football stands this fall, to seeing students gather in leadership and kindness retreats, all the way to celebrating the end of the school year with field trips, celebrations, and just being together has left my cup feeling full. There are, of course, still challenges at hand. We still have work to do to move us all forward together, to continue to strengthen the ties that bind our community together. And we, as a district, remain more committed than ever to that work. We are currently deep in the process of developing a well-laid-out strategic vision that we will be ready to share with families in the coming months, a plan that clarifies where we currently are, where we want to go as a school district, and exactly how we plan to get there. For those of you who have completed surveys or attended superintendent coffee chats, we thank you for your response. We will continue to work hard at engaging all families as we move into the 22-23 school year. There will be plenty of time to communicate details about the upcoming school year, but I did want to take this opportunity to share some important personnel changes that we are currently in the midst of. We are saying goodbye to many incredible employees this month, including two of our building principals. Pinewood Elementary Principal Linda Borgerding is retiring at the end of this month after decades of incredible service and leadership in this school district. Meanwhile, Little Mountain Elementary Principal Gabe Hackett Someone who has been one of our great connectors and innovators in ISD882 will be taking a one-year leave from the district to pursue an awesome opportunity. In addition, our Director of Technology, Sue Height, is also transitioning into retirement at the end of this month. Like Ms. Borgating, Ms. Height has provided invaluable leadership and service to this great district. Lastly, we are bidding a fond farewell to Ms. Heidi Nissler, our Director of Special Education. Ms. Nissler has been an absolute force of positivity and growth in our district during the last few years, and we wish her the best as she pursues a new opportunity as well. These people will be missed greatly in the coming year, but we are really excited for the opportunity to welcome some incredible new leaders to Monticello School District. While we are currently working to fill the Director of Technology and the Director of Special Education positions, I'm thrilled to be able to share the news of our new leaders at elementary buildings. Leading Pinewood Elementary will be Principal Shelley Gilmore. Leading Little Mountain Elementary will be Principal Nicole Curteau. Both of these educators bring with them a tremendous mix of experience, vision, leadership attributes, and above all, a passion for people. Families at both of your elementary buildings should be on the lookout for an introductory communication from the new principal in the coming days. Before I sign off, 
for the 21-22 school year, I would be remiss if I didn't offer a huge congratulations to all of our students and athletes that receive recognition for their accomplishments in academics, athletics, and activities this spring. Specifically, I want to give a huge shout out to our girls track and field team, led by coach Kim Nygaard, which captured the class AA state championship this past weekend, just the second team state championship in Monticello School District history. We are so proud of you. Families, thank you from the bottom of my heart for helping us keep our unique and special sense of school community. Your partnership, your time, your advocacy, and your passion continue to help elevate our school district and our school community as we work together to truly create the best possible educational outcomes for every kid, every day. Have a wonderful and safe summer, and go magic!